Hey guys, E3 is almost over, but before the show finishes, we're here with Ron Rosenberg, the executive producer of the new Tomb Raider, which is basically Laura's origin story. She didn't always be a badass. This is kind of you guys telling the story of how she got there. Yes, absolutely. There are two things we're featuring in this new Tomb Raider. And that first is the reinvention of Lara Croft in the Tomb Raider franchise. And the second thing is we're telling her origin story. So how did you guys arrive at, you know, you guys had worked on Tomb Raider games before, and then you guys did Underworld, and then this is a pretty drastic departure to go and tell the story that hadn't been told. How did you guys arrive at that uh, after finishing Underworld? Oh, wow. There's a lot of things that contributed to that. Um, one of the things is just opportunity, right? Um, we received a mandate straight from the top. Uh, to make this game special. Uh, from Wadison and from Phil Rogers, uh, they came to us and said, make the greatest game you can make. And that sort of kicked things off. Uh, and I think it was, uh, you know, the Tomb Raider franchise is 15 years old now, over 15 years old. And it That's was, crazy, by the way. It's crazy, right? It's, a, it's one of the big um, franchises out there. And we felt it was time to update it uh, for modern day, to change some things. What were, when you, when you look at those older Tomb Raider games, uh, the ones before you guys worked on it and the ones that you guys did, what is the core tenets of Lara Croft? That even though you want to reinvent things, you want to modernize things, yeah. there's some stuff that kind of has to stay the same if you're going to call it a Tomb Raider game. So what, what, what aspects called out to you? Yeah. Um, you, know, we, you know, we have our, you know, the rich gameplay that is the history of Tomb Raider. All those elements are still there, uh, but we've reinterpreted them in new ways. And I'll give you an example. Um, the, for reinventing Lara Croft, for example, right? We didn't just throw out everything you know about Lara Croft and start over, right? She's still an archaeologist. She still has that nose for adventure. She's still that person who's looking for smart solutions to problems. But this new Lara is very human. Uh, she's relatable. In some ways, she's inexperienced and uh, vulnerable. And I think, you know, she's not a weak character by any means. And, and if you see the game, you'll see that. But I think she doesn't know her true strength yet. So how do you guys find that balance? Because it seems like in this game, the bits I've seen, you really, you really kick the crap out of her. You know, she, she has to become this badass, so how do you guys find that balance between wanting to show how she becomes this character that we all know uh, from when we first saw her, but also, you know, it can't be just a game about kicking the crap out of Laura Croft, so how do you guys find that balance? Um, well, I think one of the things that we've done in this adventure is we really bring you really close and personal up to Lara, and, um, you know, there's some, some scenes in this game that are really genuinely emotional, I've demoed this game and I've heard people gasp when we demo it. I've had people come out of the demo with tears in their eyes. And, and on a scale of things, these are smaller moments, you know. There's a scene in the demo that we're showing today uh, where Lara, Lara's hungry, she's shipwrecked on an island, and she has to hunt her first deer. And she shoots the deer and she walks up to it and she just has this look on her face. And you look at her and you say, I know what's going through her mind now. And you can feel those emotions inside her. And because you feel her emotions, uh, it feels like a big moment. We also, um, I've, we've all played video games. Um, we've all killed lots of people in video games. Uh, at the show, we're featuring Lara's first kill. And we literally put Lara in a position where she has to kill or be killed. And it's amazing to see the response from the audience to those kind of moments. I think it's interesting because, again, like you said, there are so many games where we killed so many things. And there's not a lot of importance put on that. Maybe it's during a tutorial, but like emotionally, it's just, hey, you kill people in this game, that's just sort of our thing. But it seems like you guys put a lot of emotional weight behind that. Yeah. So I, I assume there are probably a lot of moments like that where the first time she is forced to do something kind of extreme, there's a, you know, there's an emotional weight behind that. Yes, absolutely. Um, and it's really, those moments are really interesting because we bring Lara, you bring the player close to the character. Uh, and if you see movies like uh, Die Hard, for example, is a great example. Um, that mo movie starts off with, they bring you real close to John McClane. He's just a guy who wants to get back in good with his family, right? And that's what you learn about it. You identify it with him. But when he goes into those big action sequences, you feel like you know him, and that makes them more important. So I feel like that personal touch informs the whole game. So even when you're in those big action moments, it's not just anybody, it's Lara. 
What, what have you guys learned being a part of sort of the, the Square Enix operation where you have this much closer relationship with a whole lot of Japanese developers, producers? Like, has that informed the process at all and changed how you've approached this game? Um, yeah, it's been fantastic, to be frank. So, uh, from the very top, uh, Wadasan is super supportive of our game. As I said, we received a mandate to make the best game we can make. Uh, we've also had the opportunity to do some collaborations. So the, two, the trailer that we released last year uh, was done by Visual Works in Square Enix Tokyo. Super talented group. They do amazing work. Uh, we're also doing some audio collaboration with Square Enix Japan. So uh, it's just been fabulous to have those resources and all those people at our back helping us. All right, so you guys are nearing, kind of nearing the finish line. I know it's only June, but uh, you guys are kind of getting to the end there. When are people finally getting a chance to see Laura's new adventure? Um, March 5th, 2013, and it's coming out for Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and PC. All right, thanks, Ryan. Enjoy the rest of the evening.